Dear Emma, I am writing this letter to you the night before our wedding. I didn't exactly plan to do this so close to the time of our wedding, but I'm really happy I am. I'm committing to you for the rest of my life. It's amazing to think about that, because I have no doubt in my mind that our marriage has been planned by God for a purpose. I'm so excited to begin our journey together. The increased effectiveness of our relationship through our marriage is going to be a powerful force. It seems that to some of our friends, I have noticed a pattern. I was riding to me and Colin's hotel for the night, and we got to talking about what he thinks our, of our relationship from his point of view, not having many interactions with us at all. He said to me what other people have told me, and us for that matter. He said that as soon as he met you for the first time, it seemed like we just fit together. We fit together in so many amazing ways. It's difficult to describe, but all I know is that I couldn't live without you in my life. You meld with me in a way that makes us stronger as individuals. We are going to tackle this world together, and I've been waiting for that for three years. I love you so very much. Can't wait to see you later today. Love, Josiah. It has finally arrived, our wedding day. After over three years of being together, we get to stand up today and become man and wife. This journey has had its ups and downs, but I wouldn't want it to be with anyone else. It's always been you. From the moment we started talking, everything was different in the best way possible. We connected so quickly. I can see God making all of this happen from the very beginning. He brought us together and now we get to glorify Him through our marriage for the rest of our lives. You're going to be the best husband on this earth. You have constantly encouraged me or loved me, encouraged me, built me up, held me close, and been so supportive of everything I do. I trust you with everything. When I have news, you're the person I want to see first. I look for you when I want to enter a room and I immediately relax when I see you. I poured my heart out to you and I give everything to you today. You make my dreams come true. In a time where I thought I would have to settle and give up my dreams, you stepped in and made me dream even bigger dreams. You opened my eyes to a life even better than I imagined. You helped me see that I shouldn't ever have to settle and that someone can truly love me for me. You make me feel safe to be who I really am. You make me less tense in hard situations. You make me laugh and smile so much. You make my heart skip a beat at the sight of you. You make me breathless from your touch. You love me so much and I love you so much. All of the things, I love all the things you make me feel. I love you, Josiah Philip Mayo. Today I become your wife. And I know it will be the best day of my entire life. I get to be with you, be with my best friend forever. And you have shown me what true love and care is. You helped me get out of brokenness and been with me through the light. I can't wait to see what new adventures we go on and new dreams we dream. I'll see you at the end of, my, of the aisle, my love. Love you forever. The soon to be Mrs. Josiah Mayo. do by the authority conferred upon me as a minister of the gospel, by the laws of this state, I get to pronounce you right now, husband and wife. Josiah, you may kiss your bride. You have shown me what it means to be loved deeply. From the very beginning, you cared for me even when I was crazy, weird, and blind to your feelings for me. All along the way, you listened, cared, loved, encouraged, and supported me. You have been my rock and my best friend. You are my one true love, and you have completely changed my life for the better. I vow to love you more and more as each day comes and go. I commit to loving you, Josiah Philip Mayo, with my whole heart for the rest of my life. I vow to continually write letters to you, to share my love through words. I vow to commit myself to servitude, to, to be attentive to your desires, and ultimately I vow to put you before myself, to put your needs above my own, and to love you with all my heart, mind, and strength. 